everybody. Welcome once again to Phil and Will's Songs and Stories. Hi, I'm Phil the Storyteller. And I'm Will the Music Teacher. Now the story today is about a girl. Um, and I like stories where there are, there are uh, resilient girls in the stories. And this girl is a resilient girl, but something bad happens to the girl. Um, shall we get on with the story? Yes, please. Okay. Once there was a girl, and she was told, don't walk in the woods. But there was some nice stuff in the woods, and she was curious, and she went for a walk in the woods, but she got lost. Oh, she got lost, and every time she tried to get out of the woods, she was going deeper and deeper into the woods, my dear friends. She smelt him before she saw him, that smell of wet fur, that smell of the darkness in the woods. It was the bear, and the bear sneaked up. The bear grabbed her! The bear opened the sack, stuffed her in the sack, put the sack on his back, and ran, ran through the woods. He ran for hours until he got to his front door. He opened the front door. Walked in, opened the sack, emptied the sack on the ground, and the girl fell out. And then the bear said, Oi, listen, girl, you are my slave. Yeah, you're going to have to work for me, girl. You better work hard as well. You've got to clean my house. You've got to dust everywhere, make things look nice and shiny, and you've got to cook my dinner. You gotta cook my dinner. Now listen to me, girl. I'm going out now for a little walk in the woods. <laughs> but when I come back, I want this place clean and I want my dinner cooked because you're my slave. See you later, girl. Don't bother escaping. You're in the middle of the woods. The bear went to the door, opened the door. Walked out, slammed it, and the girl was on her own in the bear's house. The bear's house was filthy. The floor was black, but the girl knew that wasn't the colour of the floor. The floor was so sticky. The tops of everything were disgusting with grime and dirt. The bare sink was full of unwashed plates and penicillin was growing in the cups. The curtains were filthy, the windows were filthy. She was going to have a hard job cleaning this place. But she is a resourceful girl and she used her skills. First she got the mop. She filled the bucket with water. She put the mop in. Do you know how to mop? It's a very good skill. If you can learn how to mop, you will have a skill for life. All cleaning is skillful. She mopped and she cleaned the floor. She used six buckets on the floor because the floor wasn't black. It was green and white tiles. She cleaned the tables, she cleaned the tops. She opened the window and she let the beautiful, smelling pine scent of the forest come in. She took down the curtains. She went to the bear's bed. She took off the bear's sheet. The bear had never cleaned his sheets. And the sheets were so stiff they could walk out on their own. She got them and she scrubbed them and she cleaned them. And she hung them up outside in the crisp breeze where they cracked in the wind. Well, she went back in with some flowers and put them in a vase. But now she had to cook the bear's dinner. She got the big pot out 
Cut up some meat, put it in, some vegetables, some herbs. She started boiling it and boiling it. By the end of the day, the bear's house was clean. And the smell of the stew went around the bear's house. Well, that evening, the bear came back. Oi, that little girl, she better have cleaned my ass, because she's a my slave. And she better have cooked my dinner. Where's my dinner? I smell something really nice. He went to his door. He opened the door. Uh, and walked in. Well, he didn't walk in. He came at the top and he said, Right, oh, look in here. It's so lovely. It's so beautiful. It's so clean. I can't wait to step in. And the girl said, stop. And the bear said, what? You are not coming into this house until you have wiped your paws. What? you got to go outside and wipe your paws. I spent all day cleaning this place. Blimey. I've never had to wipe my paws before. The bear went outside. He started wiping his paws. Blimey. I've wiped my paws. Can I come in now? Yes, you can come in. He stepped inside and he said, Oh, I can't wait to eat my stew. Stop. What? You are not eating your stew. Look at you. You're filthy. You've still got porridge from five weeks ago in your fur. Well, what else am I going to eat when I'm hungry? Get outside. Wash your hands. Wash your fur. You watch! Wash your hands, watch your fur! Blimey! No one's ever told me to wash before! Gosh, yeah, man! He went outside. There was a big bucket of rainwater. He got in the bucket, pushed down it all wash himself. Then he got out. He flicked his fur. Oh, nice and smooth. Yeah, I like that. It's silky. My fur is silky. I never knew it was silky. I thought it was crusty and hard. But that's because of all the porridge and all the little things that I keep in my fur. So I can eat it later on. He went up to the door. Oi, girl, I'm clean. Can I come in now? The girl said, yes, come in. Oh, great. I can't wait to get my grub. Stop. What? You are to sit at the table to eat your food. What? Sit at the table and put on a serviette like an Italian child. What? But one look in the girl's face and he knew he had to do it. Gosh, yeah, man. I've never had to sit at a table before. Can I have my serviette now, please? Thank you. How does an Italian child do it? All right. Thank you. Can I have my grub now, please? Yes. Oh, good. Give me the bowl, because I'm going to dive in with me head and just eat. No, stop. What? Stop. You are going to eat your stew in a civilised manner. With a bowl and a spoon. A spoon? What's a spoon? This is a spoon. Oh, he took the spoon. Oh. What do I do now? Put it in the bowl. All right, then. He put it in the bowl. What do we do now? We'll lift it up with some uh, stew in the bowl of the spoon. All right. Oh, all right then. Yeah. Now what do I do? Put it in your mouth. Okay. Mm. The bear ran around the whole house chasing the spoon. Bear! I can't get it in my mouth. Oh, bear, sit down. What now? Bring the spoon to your mouth. What? Right. Open your mouth. Huh? Put it in.
pleasure coursed through the bear's body. He was clean, living in a clean house and eating good food. And he thought, oh, this is really good. Now listen, girl, um, thanks very much. You, you clean the house nice and everything. And um, you've uh, made me a good grub and everything. But you're my slave! You gotta sleep by the fireplace tonight. The bear got up. The bear went to his bedroom. And for the first time in his life, he got in bed with clean sheets. And one of the best feelings in the world is getting into a bed with clean sheets. But the little girl, she lay on the hearth by the fire. And she cried. How was she going to escape? Well, I'm not going to tell them how she escapes. Why not? Well, that maybe is for another time. But she's a resourceful girl and always reads stories with resourceful girls. Well, that's the end of the story. Thanks for the sounds. It's goodbye from me, Phil the Storyteller. And it's goodbye from Will, the music teacher. Bye. Bye-bye.